Let's go, it's semi-final time. So, we have got David Adelaide versus Joy Joyce today. Next week is Tyson Fury Usyk, that's another big one. But let's talk about today's semi-final. David Adelaide showing all the heart and desire to get up off the canvas several times last week. Will it be the same story as last week for him or Joe Joyce making extremely light work of Eddie Hall in his quarterfinal? Will he go on a dominant display again? We'll find out. Here is your commentary team. Let's go. Beautiful afternoon for a fist fight. We are live at the Empire Fight Camp. My name is Todd Grisham. And watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. It's time for our tale of the tape. David Adelaide, six foot four inches tall, and he packs a lot into those 212 pounds. He'll square off against the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. A massive 80 inch reach, six foot six inches tall. So much height behind this guy. There's a mad weight difference here. You know what? You're looking at power, you're looking at speed, you're looking at all these things you've got to take into account. When they land, it's going to feel like a mule's kick. David Adelaide, known as Big D, fighting out of London in the heavyweight division, and he packs a lot into those 212 pounds. The juggernaut, Joe Joyce, one of the hardest hitters in the division. Not many fighters hit harder than the juggernaut. While wow, someone's been really generous, they've given away a lot of weight, This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, introducing from London, England, here is Big D, David Adelaide. Hiding out of the blue corner from London, England, and standing at six feet six inches, here is a British Commonwealth International and European heavyweight champion, the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. And of course, we fight outside today, Johnny, and that's going to put a little extra strain on both of these fighters' conditioning. I've been out in Vegas when fights like this have happened, and when the sun's beating down and you get out there and you're fighting outside, it can make you or break you. You can tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence as they touch gloves, and here we go. The juggernaut back in a huge fight again. Look at the juggernaut. Oh, and he caught him there with the right hook. Quick punch scores. sunburn when you're fighting Johnny, but that's certainly the case today with the sun blazing. Well, Todd, let me explain to you. We're outside. Nobody can turn the temperature down. Nobody can turn the sun down. When that sun's beating on you, when you're tired, when you're frustrated, when you're getting hit, when you're getting hurt, there's no cool fan that's dropping in there. This is where it's real fighting. Fight on fight. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. He's going to loosen things up here. Let's see how he does with this fancy footwork. Those punches that hit nothing but air can tire you out quickly. Now going to get a little more loosey-goosey. Let's see how this one feels. Solid punch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one.
I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If so here we go, the juggernaut back on display. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Catch and shoot. Sometimes when you're fighting a counterfighter, the rounds can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back at you. Hard, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. That big hook doesn't land. Looks like a little bit of a strategy change here, loosening up the technique. This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Joe Joyce, one of the biggest heavyweights in the division. This is the type of fighter that would say, I don't even want rounds. Let's just fight until one of us can't stand up anymore. Oh, this is a slugger right here in front of him. No, these kind of fighters, they want to get hit in the face because it jeez them on. They want to stand there and fight in the trenches. That one was a very close round with 10 seconds to go. Tell this guy he's got to do something different. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford... Joe Joyce always swinging for the fences. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. Gonna shake out the arms and legs and move around a little bit. Here he is bouncing on his toes, trying to get some energy. It's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker. He's got to move a lot to win this fight. If you're in there with a guy so big in front of you, you've got to be smart. You've got to use your smarts and use that skill. This is what you've prepared for. You've got to negate that jab, let it ride past you and push his own weight on him. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Looks like a little change of strategy here, trying to loosen up the flow a little bit. Nobody home with that hook. Missed with that jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they have... Joe so Joyce, an Olympic medalist. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Nice counter shot. As he 
weathered the storm. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone out. All hands on deck. We are witnessing an upset in the making. His days. Where should he look? What should he do? Should he run? Should he? Should he? And they're down. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Oh, no. Come on. Get up. Get up. It can't be over. got the advantage halfway through the round. Well, he's back up, but now what, Johnny? Get up, look at his corner. Look at his structure. They're trying to calm down. Make the most of the count. Get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee. Save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. Somehow, get to the end of the round. That is a show of character. When you put down your eagles here, your teeth hurt, your body's hurting, and you've got to get up, suck it up, and think right, I'm back in the game again. It's so, so hard for a fighter. That's another scoring shot. Final 10 seconds here, unless something major happens. I think we all know who won that one. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. To make the bell to start the round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full barrel because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he does that, I'll be very, very surprised. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. What a punch. Fantastic punch. The old adage is, no matter how much speed and upset of the year, oh, and that changes everything, and down they go. Well, what a shot, was that a flash knockdown? He, he, he should get up from that, he's fresh enough. He, he can get up from that. Does he want to? Seven, eight, nine. back up, but the corner has to take some responsibility here and maybe stop this fight. He's up, but for how long? Look at him. On the heels. But look at him. It's nothing there. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. We just take one more clear shot. A clean one. And he's out of there. And we enter the final 10 seconds here in a pretty dominant display. Big of a factor that knockdown's gonna be, we just saw. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Yeah. We're hoping for an all action slug fest. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's gonna do after being knocked down in the last round? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with it. A perfect counter shot. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. Solid punch. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. You don't see a lot of welterweights that can bring you one-punch KO power, but these two can. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. 
That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Some real good back and forth between these two fighters. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Do you believe what we are seeing? Beautiful, sneaky shot. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. Oh, what? What a shot. What? Oh, my goodness. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, you're out. So time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. Accuracy, power, punch, perfect. That was hurt. Joe Joyce getting pushed all the way by David Adlai. Knocked out, uh, knocked down once, not twice, but three times, and that's enough for him. Joe Joyce's power proven too strong this time round for the heart of David Adlai. Catch us next week for Tyson Fury Usyk. I don't need to say any more on that one. Have a good week. <laughs>